Hi dragons! It's Anna, your vocal music teacher. Welcome to another lesson. It is a chilly fall day and I've even got my coat on inside just to stay warm. Speaking of warm, I've been excited about warming up and warming up my voice with you. When most things get cold, including our vocal cords or vocal folds, they constrict or they shrink a little bit. For the best singing, we want our vocal cords to kind of do the opposite. We want them to relax and loosen up. So that's another part of the warm up, is we're literally wanting to warm up those vocal cords. So before we even do any singing warm ups, we're gonna do some physical body warm ups. What I want you to do with me is to do a really huge clap if you're in a place where you can make a loud noise and keep your hands together when you clap rather than pulling them apart, so like this. Yeah, okay, let's do one together and then we'll begin to rub our hands really quickly. Here we go, big clap. And rub your hands together. Don't hold your breath, just Keep the rest of your body nice and relaxed and continue to rub your hands. Rub them even faster if you can. Think of someone you know that you wanna spread some love to, that you wanna spread some warmth to. And then think about spreading some of that warmth to yourself. Keep rubbing really, really fast. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll put our hands right around our throat. Very gently, very gently. Oh, that's so nice. You can even take a big sigh because hopefully you'll be able to feel your voice box vibrating when you sigh, when you talk, when you sing, ah, ah. Take a sigh now and make the sound a little bit higher in your voice. Ah. Try another high one. Ah. Notice how that felt in your voice box. On, on your voice box, I mean. <laughs> And then we'll take a nice deep breath and do another sigh, but make the sound lower if you can in your voice. Ready? Oh. Oh. Does the vibration from your voice box feel different when you make a high sound versus when you make a low sound? Let's try again, switching from high to low. Hmm. 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 Feels pretty neat. <laughs> okay, one more thing to do before we move on to our singing warm up. It's time for a little breathing. Don't forget, the breath is like the fuel for your singing. Your voice won't be able to be strong and you won't be able to sing for a long time unless you take deep, deep breaths. So let's sit or stand nice and tall. And today I'm gonna to have you put your hands around your sides, just below your chest and above your belly button. This is where our special breathing muscle is, right in the, on the top of our stomach called the diaphragm. And we'll talk about that more pretty soon. Okay. When we breathe in, when we inhale, 
we want to feel this area getting bigger. Let's try it. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you can even see um, my body on the video. You can see the sides of my body getting a little bit bigger when I inhale. Try again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I'm just calling my dog in. You can come inside so you're okay. He's not sure if he wants to come inside or not. <laughs> Anyways, back to our vocal music lesson. The reason that this kind of breathing is tricky is because when we're not singing, we may do something a little bit different with our breath. We're not gonna be focused on our breath at all. When we're doing our normal things throughout the day, we take really short, small breaths. And we generally don't make this part of our body get really big, but we can. It usually just takes a lot of practice. So if you can't quite feel your body do that yet, Oh, don't worry. It took me a very long time to figure that out. So we're just trying our best and best and exploring a little. Okay, time for singing warm-ups. Instead of mommy made me mash my M&Ms, we're going to use teacher's names again. Last week, I think we heard about the letter J with Mr. Johnson's name. Mr. Johnson made me jump on my jelly beans, I think it was so that words that change will always match and start with the same letter as the teacher's name. I have a treat for you this week. Guess who came up with the words for these warm-ups today? Two Green Lake students! And these two Green Lake students happen to have the same first name. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so. Our first one is from Audrey F., who's a fourth grader in Miss Nini's class. And I'm looking at my notes because I wanna make sure that I get all the words right. Audrey wrote these words. Mr. Duncan made me drown my donuts. So that's the first one we'll sing. I'm gonna get a little closer to the piano. And I'm going to invite you, if you're ready to sing, to either sit nice and tall so we can have room for our body to get full of breath or to stand nice and tall. For the warm up, let's keep our voices a little bit on the quiet side. With Mr. Duncan made me drown my donuts. <laughs> Big breath, one, two, Ready, go. Mr. Duncan made me drown my donuts. And here's where we breathe. Mr. Duncan made me drown my donuts. 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 Nice big breath. Mr. Duncan made me drown my donuts. One more. Mr. Duncan made me drown my donuts. I cried. <laughs> that was a silly one. I was having a hard time uh, not laughing in the middle of the warm up. Okay, are you ready for our second one? This was brought to you by Audrey S., who is a fourth grader in Mr. Leahy's class. And Audrey S. wrote these words. Miss Andrea made me ash my airheads. <laughs> Have you ever had airheads? That's a, that's a funny candy. Miss Andrea made me ash my airheads. Oh. You might not know who Miss Andrea is. That's our librarian's first name. 
Um, some kids, kindergartners, might know her as Miss Andrea. Some kids call her Miss Pickle. <laughs> we're going to start up high and then work our way down. So check your body or posture. Posture is the way you're holding your body. Either sitting or standing tall. Nice deep breath to begin. One, two, ready, go. Miss Andrea, lead me, ash my ear hits. Miss Andrea, lead me, ash my ear hits. Miss Andrea, lead me, ash my ear hits. Breath. Miss Andrea, lead me, ash my ear hits. My voice feels more relaxed and more warmed up. How about yours? Great work warming up, dragons. Now we have a little more singing to do. We're going to go back to the song I played for you last week called La Mariposa. La Mariposa. Do you remember what that word means in Spanish? The butterfly. By the way, this is sign language for butterfly. La mariposa. I'll start out by playing and singing again, and then I'll present it to you a little bit more slowly so we can learn it together. Stomping. I don't think I did that for you last time. Con las manos. With your hands. Con las manos. Clap, clap, clap. Con los pies. With your feet. Con los pies. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Con Con las manos, con los pies, la morenada, la morenada, say it, la morenada, well done. La morenada is the style of the music and the dance that goes with it. I believe, from what I've read, the dance was created first, even before the music. It's a very, very old style of folk dance from the Bolivia and Peru area, those countries in South America. Uh, the dance was created a very, very long time ago when enslaved people from Africa were brought over to South America to work in the silver mines. So it's a very, very old style of dancing. Let's put that part together, starting with con las manos. Nice. 
Greetings, everybody. Well done. The first part of the song um, goes like this. The very first line is, Vengan a cantar la morenada. We're all going to sing the morenada. Vengan a cantar la morenada. Vengan a cantar la morenada que empieza a sonar. Que empieza a sonar. Que empieza a sonar. Guess what? I'm also including the lyrics. Hooray! And you'll notice with those last three words, que empieza sonar. You'll see those words separately on a seesaw, but did you notice that I squished que and empieza together? Que empieza. If you're not a Spanish speaker, that's a little bit tricky, so don't worry if you can't get it. Let's put that first line together. Starting with Vengan a cantar. Vengan a cantar la morinada que empieza a sonar. Oops, I gotta play the right note, huh? Let's do it again. Vengan a cantar la morinada que empieza a sonar. The next line is Como el vuelo de mariposa vamos todos a bailar. Como el vuelo de mariposa. Like the butterfly flies. Vamos todos a bailar. Come on, everyone, let's dance. Como el vuelo de mariposa. Vamos todos a bailar. Start from right there. Como el vuelo. Como el vino de mariposa, vamos todos a bailar. You ready to do the whole thing with me? Try your best, okay? If you don't get it, no worries. I probably won't do the repeats this time because um, this video lesson is getting to be a little bit longer than my other ones usually are. So I'm going to try to keep it short here at the end. Vengan a cantar. One, two, three, four. Vengan a cantar la morinada que empieza a sonar. Como el vuelo de mariposa, vamos todos a bailar. La mariposa. Wow, we did a lot today. Way to work hard, dragons. And I'll catch you on the flip side. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Adios. Bye.